The formations, the creativity of all the choreographers, getting dancers from the Massive Monkeys to Northwest Tap, a lot of really intense styles of dance all put together in one show. It blew my mind away. I wanted to be in the audience. That's how good it felt. Dance is communication, and we all have different styles of doing that, but ultimately we're all performers, and we can relate on that level, and it's been really exciting. I was able to meet so many phenomenal dancers throughout this year, and I've grown so much, not as a just performer and a dancer, but just as a human being. So this year for Dance This, uh, we have a kind of Frankenstein science laboratory experiment. Sometimes when we have a, a general concept, we come in and I think in this process, in this scenario, we kind of involve them in the decision. So it's nice to hear their input and see what they're looking forward to or what they might like to try to play with and then it's a, it's a fun environment for all of us. The first day was pretty tough because we had to learn a lot of choreography, but if we get these characters right because they're kind of doing something different than what you usually see, it'll come out spectacular. I'm here from Broadway's Burn the Floor. I think it danced this was a great opportunity for the kids to come together and learn what it's like to be in a professional environment. Especially working with Giselle and Vanessa, it just a really professional attitude and I guess atmosphere in that you really do get to learn kind of you know, how demanding it is, but the rewards are so great. I mean, you get out on stage and it's just, you feel the energy from the audience and the music and that's what you really love about dancing and that's why you work so hard. Dance This has been an inspiration to Northwest Tap Connection. We've returned here several times, and that it's been a support for our organization within the arts program, but more importantly, it's that it's an inspiration to young people that are at the Northwest Tap Connection. So definitely, this is one of the hierarchies of events within the Seattle area that give inner city kids an opportunity to reach out and feel successful and build self-esteem. Dance This has definitely been an opportunity for me to grow, both as a young and a professional artist. When I went to New York and I went to school, I was able to link up with Jamel Gaines, who I met through Dance This, and I was able to teach at his studio and train with him and his professional companies. It's definitely opened up doors for me. Classical dance was reconstructed from sculptures in Orissa starting 1950s. So this dance is really a solo dance and it's done in a small space with an intimate audience. So what dance this gave us an opportunity to do was do the dance for a larger audience. The second thing that I loved about dance this was just all these kids got to meet everyone and I got to meet choreographers and that was an amazing thing. I'm Kellyanne Barton. I dance with Spectrum Dance Theater with Donald Bird. My role in Dance This was helping Donald set the choreography for Bonger Fever. So I kind of acted as the rehearsal director and then Donald came in several times and helped us with the piece as well. It was a 
very challenging experience in rehearsals with our company. You're so in the moment and in the story of the piece and then stepping out to where Donald views it is a whole different perspective. So I think I've learned a lot from being on the outside of it. We do a dance called Bhangra from the northern region of Punjab. What the farmers did when they had a lot of time on their hands, they actually had a drum and different moves were made up when they were in the fields. And it has become so big that it is more popular in Northern America now than it actually is in India itself. My name is Annika Marchinovich. I started with the Young Choreographers Lab and we are mentored by Amy O'Neill. She helped us through the process of auditioning dancers and choosing music and just really incorporating all our movements into a piece. I think just being able to explore all aspects besides just being on stage and learning the routine, being able to edit my own music and figure out my costumes and communicate with my dancers and just really learn about the whole other side of dance I always knew about but I just had never been as involved in. I've been doing dances for about nine years now, and for me, it has definitely been a wonderful experience. Sometimes you're so used to working with other dancers on stage, and the first challenge for me was being able to stay in this 4x4 four four and stay tiny and small. It was definitely a challenge for me. Being able to pass on a piece that I performed myself onto a young dancer was an amazing gift and working with him and watching him grow and pick it up and seeing him on the stage is just blowing me away. We first got involved with Dance This in 2001. We were part of a company called Turf, but we were more of the participants, the younger people in the, in the program. And then um, we were kind of learning how to perform on the stage and performing in venues like this because we're from a street culture where we do street dance. And so, you know, several years later, now we've come back, we actually brought some of the younger kids who we've mentored. We laid down the foundation and, and, and the basics, but like what they took and, and how they just took it to the next level with their own style and character is just something else. So, you know, a lot of credit to them as well. It was just mind blowing because these super famous America's Best Dance Crew status guys <laughs> are teaching, teaching us. What's great about Dance This that they don't have in a lot of other communities is it goes to the next level. I think it's a grander production, which is cool, and it gives them, I think, a little bit more of a real-life scenario, you know, if they were to pursue dance as a career down the road. Just the mixture of exposure to other youth and teens and just all interacting, because I think it's very easy to get boxed into one style, and you have to be able to groove and just relate. So it's just good exposure, I think. To know that there is a community, even in these times when there's a financial burden, we're still doing the dance, and the dance is still alive. Getting the use of like the Paramount Theater is amazing. I feel like it changed how I dance. It's amazing to be able to take it in and feel what other people do and what the differences between what our bodies do and what everybody else does. I haven't gotten much opportunity in the last several years to do anything like that, so it was really, really nice to just get to experience the other forms. I really enjoy how they incorporate the whole dance community in Seattle. It's all their hard work, discipline, it's all paying off and now they're just seeing it. Working with a lot of positive energy, it's definitely good for the mind and the body and the spirit. I'm definitely grateful for this opportunity. I'm a journey, picky, picky, mama, from east to west, back to you, I'm a
Can you not make Pamela slimmer than me, please? <laughs> okay, make make Pamela fat as me, okay? okay. <laughs> 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 Brothers, you guys need to know that. 